Last year, most of the major stock move in line and settle around the year's high. However, starting this year, we're seeing an uneven rally with Apple and Alphabet taking the lead, moving lower from the start of the year. And now Berkshire Hathaway is also experiencing a potential tipping point. I believe the tech stocks and especially the AI stocks will still thrive into the future. But let's not forget about volatility and cycles in every sector. Just like the EV sector, which was mostly talked about in the recent years, but now hibernating. EVs will surely make a comeback, but it is just going to take a while. The top company seems to be in an uneven rally starting this year. How are we going to manage this and what should we be looking out for? My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this topic, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. One of the reasons of this rally at the start of 2023 till today is the AI technology. But the main reason of this rally is the easing of inflation. And let's do a case study on what happened at the beginning of 2023 with the easing of inflation. And we saw that inflation hit the high of 9% in June 2022 and it started to drop to 6.4% at the beginning of 2023. We saw an easing of inflation. And for that, the stock market started to rally at the beginning of 2023. 23. And the inflation continued to slide further to about 3%, what we're seeing here. And then the stock market continued its rally. However, what we're seeing here is that investors are losing some patience here that over from June this period last year to now is more than half a year, the inflation seems to be plateauing instead of going to the target level at 2%. And that's why we're seeing some uneven rally with Apple coming off, Alphabet coming off, and Berkshire Hathaway is also at its tipping point. Is inflation making a comeback? And let's reference to the gold market, which is always regarded as an inflationary hedge assets. And looking at the way it goes, it seems to me that it is also indicating to me the inflation risk is on the rise again. An observation that I've made between the gold and the Bitcoin, and we can see that there's a synchronized rally between them starting from February and onwards. Gold and Bitcoin. And you may ask, why is this so? And my reasoning is because of this plateauing of the easing of inflation, meaning that is don't seems to be coming down to 2% target. It is flattish. There's always a risk of going back up. And I believe that investors are losing its patience and they're always finding a reason to get into the inflationary hedge assets like the gold and the Bitcoin. Let's try to understand what causes inflation with this money supply or this data called M0. And I've made a study with the increase of money supply where we saw July 2008 is very obvious and also July uh, 2019 there's a v-shaped increase of money supply or the printing of money goal inflationary hedge assets increase and the latest round of a v-shaped increase of money supply that we could see here is during October 2022 and let's look at what happened to the gold market and Bitcoin and all this while before October 2022, the gold are doing its retracement. So is the Bitcoin. But with the increase of money supply down here in October 2022, I could see that gold start to recover. And so is the Bitcoin as well. And earlier we study about the investor losing patience because of the plateauing of inflation numbers. They are getting into the inflationary hedge assets between gold and Bitcoin again, starting in February. With the inflation direction still pretty uncertain, how are we going to manage this? As for the US stocks, 
I would prefer to trade them, meaning buying and selling into them, aiming to profit from their short term fluctuation. And on any potential downside risk, I would prefer not to be too passive, meaning to risk manage it. And as for the goal and the Bitcoin, I would prefer to continue to invest for the long term because of the inflation or even trade into them on the short term fluctuation. And before we go into the strategy, let me just define what is investing. Investing is defined as allocating capital into assets with the expectation of long term financial return. And this is what I'm seeing again in this inflationary hash assets for the gold market. In fact, the gold market is speaking to us that the rise of inflation started 24 years ago, not because of the post pandemic. And we could see very clearly since the year 2000, that gold has been on the rise and it just broke above this crucial 2000 level. And one way I explain inflation is that if you're going to ask anyone in your family or your friends or your colleagues, you ask them this question. What will be the food prices, the commodity prices, uh, the prices that you're paying for, your living expenses going to be the next five years? I think the answer will be pretty consistent that they were, most of them will say that it is going to continue to go up. And for that reason, I believe that inflation will continue. If inflation is going to continue, it means that gold is going to continue to go up. And for that reason, I have been a long time investor in the gold market. And let's look at some of the trading strategy for the gold. So earlier I say that I would like to buy into the long term, but in the same time, I would prefer to trade into them as well. And how am I going to trade into them? And let's look at the weekly chart or even the daily chart. And for that, we could see that I'm going to draw a straight line across just to find where is the uh, resistant line that we can see that it was resisted somewhere around here over the past years. And this year, it have finally broken above. And let's look at the final picture. And as I move along the final picture that we could see that over the last few days, it has convincingly broke above this uh, around 2000 level. And this is what I believe. Uh, I'm going to continue to hold on to the gold assets that I have for the long term investment strategy. In the same time, this is what I believe that gold is hitting. Since it broke above the major resistance, I believe that it's going to continue to move up. So as I also trade into the gold market, I'm going to continue to buy into dips for the gold market. Stay tuned for our coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Feel free to leave any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.